back. Okay. And this is white cup. And um, let's open this box. Okay, when you open this box, this is the charger. Okay, for new one, you have the charger, and then you can put the charger here. That goes to this place. Okay, and then connect to the socket to power this. Okay, before you use this MTN MiFi, you have to make sure that the light here turns to blue. First of all, you get the power on, and then the network comes in, and then the Wi-Fi, and then all the light indicators. You must make sure that this network light turns blue. As it has turned blue now, you can now use it. We are going to log in now to the 5G because the blue light is on now. That means it's set for use. The network is okay. So we are going to log in now using the details you find under here. 23918574. So. Okay, I'm on my phone now. This is my phone. I'm going to use my phone to configure this router. Okay, just know that the router is powered on, as we said. And you see the network light is there. Um, so what do I do? Okay, the first thing I do is to enable on my phone. I will enable, go to my phone, back to my phone, and then enable my Wi-Fi. And then search for the SSID of this router. So let's go back to my phone. Okay, so depending on the phone you are using, um, this is my, you have the Wi-Fi option. So let me go to the setting so that we see all the connections use Wi-Fi so I enable the Wi-Fi there I enable the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi is on so it will begin to search for all the networks available so you can see the the first one the one that's 2.4 gigahertz you can see the 5.0 gigahertz okay you can see the 2.4 gigahertz you can see the 5.0 gigahertz okay this is BA75A F. So let's go and confirm that this is exactly what we have on the router, the same SSID. Note B A seven five A F MTM five G MTM five G. So if we go back to check the SSID, you can see the B A seven five A F for two point four giga B A seven five A four for 5.0 and all of them are MTM 5G, MTM 5G. So we're on the right track. So I can actually connect to this now. So I connect. I will now connect to it. Let me go back to where I have this network. Okay, so I can now, let me connect to that of 5G. Okay. I connect to it and it asks for password. It's asking me for password and I will give the Wi Fi key. Let's check the Wi Fi key. Let's go back to this and then check the Wi Fi key. The Wi Fi key is 2391857. That's the Wi-Fi key. So let me go back. I'll go back to my phone and then put the Wi-Fi key. Remember we say it's 
0815-1-8574. And you connect. Obtaining IP address. Okay. And it says connected. Okay, it's connected. Now that it's connected, you can now to configure the router, you need to go to the browser setting and then configure the router. You need to go to the browser setting and configure this router so that you change certain default names. You can change the SSID name, you can change the password so that nobody will just come in and log in or your absence turn the back and start using your router without your permission. So you need to change this default uh, password, default login details for security reasons. So to do that, we go to our browser and then type the IP address. So let's go to the browser. Still on my phone, I'm doing everything using my phone. So I check depending on the phone you are using. Let me go back. Okay. Let me just type 192.168.0.1. Okay. Let me go. Okay. Good. It has given me login to MTM 5G device interface. So this is the interface for MTM 5G. But you find out that this interface, they have options, one for PC and another one for mobile login. There are two options. You can log in, I shall log in inside using a PC. So I can choose the mobile one. I can choose the mobile one so that the, is on mobile, I choose the PC one. On some device, the full web user interface, may not work. Do you still want to continue? Yes, I prefer the PC settings. I can still long change back if I don't want. Okay, I prefer this. Yes. This is the type I want to log in. So log into MTN 5G device interface. So the password now go in using the password. Now the password, the default password of every router, any new router you have, the default password is always admin small letter admin and any hacker every hacker knows this that means you need to change it so let me go in first type admin process so i have the router okay this is the wi-fi settings that's giving me the wi-fi settings for um two point five 2.4 gigahertz and 5.0 gigahertz so it gives me an option to change the password so that nobody logs in there again so what i'm going to do to avoid anybody logging in there again i will change this password so let's see this is the password you have there two three nine one eight five seven this is one line key for this one and this is the one it's, it's the same thing okay it's the same thing that's what we use in logging in so we need to change it for both of them so what we do as i will not want you to see the password so i remove this okay even if you see it no problem but i'm changing it okay the the password this thing is high okay so i've changed the password i go to next See, after changing the password, I click the graphic, I click on next. So it said, okay, show me the connect, the what you see that you have the connected devices. Okay, the connected devices. These are connected devices. These are connected. Uh, settings so because cell connected wi-fi settings will 
need to reconnect. Do you want to continue? Now, because we've reset the password, it will, when we say yes, it will cut us off. We need to log in again with a new password. We will just create it now. We've just changed now. Say yes. So, out you are logged out you can see it of your account please log in again so you need to click ok and then you expected to log in again